In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the programming language Tickle to write a simulation. We're going to try and write a simulation that rolls two dice and adds the total. In particular, what we want to see is how many times the total is going to equal eight. And then we can use that to work out the probability that eight occurs when you roll two dice. So let's start off by clicking on the app called Tickle. And we want to create a new project and base it on the template Orca. There are a whole pile of different templates here that are using different hardware, but Orca is the one to use if you don't have any extra hardware. And you can see to start off with, it's got a program already built in. What we can do is we can just drag that and drop it over off to the left to delete it. Off to the left there, you can see all the different commands that you can run. And the idea is that you drag them into the main section of the screen, and then Orca, the killer whale, runs those commands for you. So let's start off by doing something very simple and just getting Orca to say hi. So we go down to choose the event when starting to play. That's when we start the program. And then we go up to looks and choose say hi. Obviously we can type a different message there if we want, but let's just click play and see what happens. And sure enough, you can see he says hi. We can also make the screen larger, go full screen, and he still says hi. We go back to editing mode now. Well, let's delete that command because we don't really need that for our simulation. What we'll do is we'll add variables for the two dice to be rolled. Let's call them die one and die two and click create. Now there's a data menu to the left there and we can set them to be different values. So let's start off by setting die one to equal a random number between one and six. The random numbers are in the operators menu, pick random from one to six. So we have to change that 10 there to say six and that will be the equivalent of rolling a die. Let's now do the same thing for die two, dragging set die two over there and we'll change the zero to pick random from one to six again. Now what we can do is we can get Orca to just say the sum of those two numbers. So we drag the say block over and then tell it to add die one and die two. So operators is where we can go to add things. So we want to add not zero plus one, but let's get it to pick the die one value, drag and drop and die two, drag and drop. And then Orca will roll the two dice and add them and we can click that refresh button to get him to do it again and again. Obviously that could get a bit tedious to keep on doing that again and again. So let's get our program to repeat that command multiple times. So we're going to bring down the repeat block and by default it will repeat a command 10 times. We'll just drop that into some empty space there. And let's pick up the three blocks we've got so far and drag them into the repeat block. That way we'll repeat those three commands 10 times. And actually, let's get it to repeat 100 times. So if we click refresh, we can see there Orca is rolling the two dice and saying the total each time. Now, unless you're a very quick counter, you're probably not going to be able to see how many times eight occurred there. So in fact, let's get our program to keep track of how many times that occurs. So we'll add a new variable called counter, and every time we get the number eight coming up, we'll add one to counter. So to start off with, we'll set that counter to zero, so drag a set block out and change it to counter. And we do that just at the start before we start repeating our loop. Now what we want to do is we want to see if die one plus die two equals eight. So we'll drag the die one plus die two there. And actually we want to bring an equals block as well, also in operators. So we'll drag the equals block just into some space there, bring the die one plus die two into the left hand side of that. And let's just type eight in the right hand side. Now we can drag that into our if block. And what we want to do if die one plus die two equals eight is we want to add one to counter. So we go up to the data menu and then we say change counter by one. Now at the end, we don't really want to say hi. What we'd like to happen is we'd like it to say the value of counter. So we can just drag the counter there into the hi there. And so we'll tell it to say counter. And you'll see orcas there repeating the command a hundred times and at the end it will say counter. In this case, it occurred 12 times out of a hundred. It's generally better to run programs in full screen, so let's click the full screen button and then refresh to have our program run the simulation again. It takes a while to run, but eventually after 100 trials, we see that 16 times the dice added to eight. Obviously, because this involves random numbers, we could get a different result whenever we run it. And that's why the first time we got 12 and the second time we got 16 out of 100. So we've written our simulation in Tickle. It rolls two dice 100 times and tells us how often the dice add up to eight. There's a lot more you can do with Tickle, but this is a very basic introduction to how to write a simulation in it. 